200 miles are ticks. It's not bears. It's not rattlesnakes. And if my mom was here, she'd tell me to turn around. Naked Hiker Day Adventure. Jeez, I just gave myself a boost. Actually, again, I cried in help. Oh, uh, that's a beautiful thing. Make Every day gets better. Makes me full of cheer. All right, it is October 31st. Happy Halloween. And uh, <laughs> and for me, uh, it's my neighbors. They're cheering that it's Happy Halloween too. Uh, for me, that also means a town day. Uh, I got like, like 16 miles. Did you ever look up how, how far are we walking today? Like you said, 15 point something, closer to 16, not sure. 15 point something, closer to 16 <laughs> uh, miles to Parisburg, where I plan to stay at the Angels Rest Hostel. I think I actually got that right for the first time. And uh, I have a resupply there. There's a uh, there's a Walmart in town, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get some some orange clothing because uh, hunting season starts on Saturday. Saturday is, I think it's like bow or crossbow and black powder. So uh in theory it'll be a little safer than when you know they go full bore bore with uh uh the rifles but uh but still uh you know better to be safe than sorry i'm gonna pick up some some orange crap to put all over me uh like face paint or something and uh and of course i'm going to do my damnedest to find some warm clothes i i'm actually even thinking about uh, changing out my sleeping bag. So this will be like this will be like my fifth sleeping bag that I've actually gone through on this trip. But I, I've been I've been buying all these cheap sleeping bags. So um, so on one side, on on one hand, I uh, I've been able to change my sleeping bags uh, to accommodate the different weather patterns. Um, on the other hand, uh, another point is that I have also been able to change out my sleeping bags and get out of the funk that I've created in said sleeping bag and get into a clean sleeping bag because it's kind of hard to clean a, a down sleeping bag. Um, but, uh, but from like a, a, a cost, um, savings kind of thing. Uh, the sleeping bags, you know, that it, they've been in the ballpark of like 80 bucks. So at the end of my through hike, I will have spent probably more money, not by a lot, but more money than most most people have spent on their very expensive sleeping bag. So uh, pros and cons there. And, um, and it's always a hit and miss when you buy a cheaper sleeping bag on Amazon because you don't know what you're going to get until it, it shows up. Whereas if I went into an outfitter and just threw down the 350 bucks or whatever on a decent sleeping bag, I probably would be, I'd know exactly what I was getting. Um, so yeah, so that's, uh, that's that. Uh, extremely excited about today because it's just a giant ridge walk for like 12 miles <laughs> and, then, and then downhill into Parisburg. So I am not walking up any hills that go above like 300 feet, um, which, uh, which is like very rare because at least normally, normally you do at least one big climb every day that you're on the Appalachian Trail. So this is, this is like, this is a walk in the park. Uh, the other thing that's kind of crazy is that the, uh, the weather uh, yesterday didn't have nearly the, the wind that we did the day before. Uh, so I'm hoping for a repeat of that today. Uh, and, um, 
another interesting fact is that there is very, I mean, I know this is painfully obvious, but there's like less foliage. So getting a lot more sun, I'm actually having to put sunblock on in the, in the winter time. So the green tunnel is going away. It's dissipating, uh, which creates some, uh, some interesting views. Um, there are leaves all over the ground, like two to three inches worth of leaves all over the ground that are just infested with ticks. So uh, one of the guys that I'm hiking with at the moment, just getting firewood, had a tick on him. And uh, so we're all, we're all doing, we're trying to be hyper vigilant about where we sit and, uh, and checking us, checking our body at the end of the day for ticks. Um, but those little, those little boogers are out there. So, uh, but yeah, looking forward to getting into town. Um, you know, because I'm going through Walmart, maybe I'll, maybe I'll be able to get some sort of Halloween festivity mask or something like that. I don't know. Just looking forward to, to getting into town and washing my clothes because I stank. Stank. So I didn't wash my clothes in Four Pines. So I'm going on like six, seven days of nasty funk. Can't stand myself. Everywhere I go, there I am. Uh, but as you can see, I'm still in my tent. It's uh, 8.30 and I got to get my button gear. I guess this uh, ridgeline straddles West Virginia and uh, Virginia. receiving end of, of can you hear that I'd hate to be on the receiving end I mean one just flew like kind of over this ridge line and uh, yeah very intimidating cliff bar It's always interesting when you get close to civilization. The uh, sights, sounds, and smells, especially the smells. Like I can smell that train and the exhaust coming off of the engines. can't see it yet, but I can hear it, and I can smell it. Which means I'm almost to Parisburg. Yeehaw! It's pretty neat along the trail. I've come across a number of cemeteries, and uh, I always like to stop and pay my respects. Respects. I always like to stop and pay my respects. Um, a lot of those uh, tombstones date to uh, the early 1900s, late 1800s. So, pretty crazy. Um, you know, I've said it before, it's always, uh, it's always humbling to know how many people have come before you and to think about what they did during their lifetime and, and how they might have envisioned the future. <laughs> probably, probably couldn't imagine 
doing a video selfie while hiking, huh? Uh, I do wish that for some of these cemeteries, I wish that some local would uh, take it upon themselves to go out and actually, I don't know, maybe reinscribe, uh, you know, I don't know, do, do a little bit of maintenance. Uh, cemetery like that one is looking pretty shabby. Which, uh, which only means that at some point it won't be there anymore. Um, considering a lot of the Appalachian Trail goes through what was once farmland and stuff, uh, and now it's a forest. It's all gonna be gone. Everything returns to dust. Deep thoughts by a hiker. Go, go, go! Thank you so much for watching this video. There's going to be a new video released every week, so please subscribe and ring the bell. That way, you'll know when new videos are released, and I'll know that you're enjoying the videos. Thank you for watching.